What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Volpro Scooters. My name is Austin and today we are back for another episode of What's New in Scootering. If you guys do not know, this is the series where we break down, showcase, and show you guys all of the new parts, completes, and everything that has been recently released so you guys are up to date on what's new. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at all the new product from Native, all the new product from North. We're gonna be looking at some new trampoline scoots, some new wheels from Root. And finally, we have some really cool stuff from the vault that we recently released that I really wanna show you guys. So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Let's dive into it. All right, so first up in today's video is going to be the North Scooters Derek Marr Signature Deck. So here it is. This is the North Scooters Derek Marr Signature Deck. This guy was recently released, and honestly, I'm so pumped. Derek Marr originally rode for Root Industries, and he was part of the Root team for a very long time. Had a signature wheel, had signature grip tape, but he left Root, rides for North, and they rewarded him with his own signature deck. Taking a look at it, this is the new North Horizon deck. So it features the new head tube, the new dropout system and everything. The only difference from the Horizon deck that we're gonna be taking a look at in just a sec is the graphics on it. So you guys can see there is a graphic here on the bottom. Pretty sure this graphic was designed by Daniel Ray. He absolutely killed it. There's also a little graphic here on the side of the deck, but it does look really cool, especially since the edges of this deck are completely flat as well. Taking a look at the front of the deck, it, like I said, it does have this new iconic North head tube with all these grooves and stuff going through it. But general specs of the Derek Marr deck is 5.6 inches wide by either 21.5 or 22.5 inches long. It has an 83.5 degree head tube angle and it can fit up to 125 by 30 millimeter wide wheels. And it does come with spacers already on the deck for 24 millimeter or 30 millimeter wide wheels. And like I've said in previous episodes if you guys buy one of these decks make sure you take the spacers that you're not using put them in a bag label them give them to your mom or dad so nobody loses them because if you ever want to ride that different width wheel you're gonna be boned if you lose the spacers while we're here on the back of the deck it does feature these new aluminum inserts these guys are like CNC machined to fit in the deck perfectly taking a look inside the dropout on the side where the nut would be it actually fits the nut in perfectly it has the grooves cut out so you can just tighten and loosen the back end of the deck with one tool which is really really cool and I'm hyped to see that more in scootering the brake on this deck is just the standard north brake. It's a little bit shorter of a brake. It's honestly more of a fender. It does have the five millimeter Allen brake bolts. So you're no more four mil. And you only need one tool to loosen the brake bolts. You're not gonna actually need to put like anything underneath to loosen the nut. Of course, you can upgrade to a fender if you'd like. North has their new foot fender. You could get a Trinity fender. You can get a BK carbon fiber fender. Those are super cool, but you can pretty much run any fender on this deck just because of the way the dropout system works and how the brake mounting works. You have the iconic North Arrowhead logo right here in the front of the deck. Super iconic. I think it's one of the coolest head tube cutouts in the industry today. You obviously put stickers on your fork and stuff like that. You'll see it, which is a nice touch. On the front of the head tube, it says North right here in cursive. It's a really, really nice touch. I really like that. Last but not least, we already did take a look at the bottom, but it is fully flat, square all the way to the back. So you are going to have no issues grinding on this deck at all which is nice, so yeah. But this is the raw colorway, and here is the black colorway. So this is a nice matte black. It's really, really dark, but it is the exact same deck, except the graphic is white on the bottom to stand out, and I really like it. I definitely like the black more than I like the raw. The logo on the side of the deck is also white to match. So in the past, North has had a tendency of making relatively heavy decks. The upside of having the heavier deck was you knew for a fact that that deck was going to be insanely strong and you were not going to break it. It was a good deck to recommend to people that had the issue of breaking decks fairly often. And I know that they have improved the weight recently. So I'm Curious to see how much this deck weighs. All right, so the largest size of the Derek Marr deck comes in at four pounds, 7.8 ounces, which is relatively light for a deck that is not only this strong, but also this big. All right, so that's how much the North Derek Marr deck weighs. Let's move on to the all new version of the North Horizon deck as a whole. So like I mentioned, the Derek Marr deck is the new version of the Horizon deck, except it's just Derek Marr's signature. This right here is pretty much the same exact deck, except it is a little bit bigger. Derek Marr's deck is only 5.6 inches wide, or the new Horizon deck is 6.2 inches wide. Can you see how wide this deck is? It's a wide deck, bro. This is a beefy deck right here. Reliable, strong and reliable right here. Other than that, the overall spec are going to be very similar to Derek Mars, except for the different sizes. So this deck is 6.2 inches wide by either 22 or 23 inches long. Same dropouts, same wheel compatibility, different graphic, 
This is the all new horizon graphic here. You have these uh, train tracks here going into the horizon. It's a really, really cool graphic. It is very simple. I just think it looks really, really cool. And it fills in this ginormous gap of the deck very well. The horizon deck does have three degrees of concave, which means the deck does actually cave in here towards the center, which gives uh, a lot of riders more grip and more feel of the deck. It's more comfortable than having just a completely flat deck. Same 83.5 degree head tube angle. And we're gonna go ahead and weigh it. I guess that it's gonna weigh a little bit more. And this is the 22 inch long version. I don't have a 23 with me right now, so take into account that the 23 version is going to weigh a little bit more. But the 22 inch variant weighs four pounds, 14 ounces. So just under five pounds, which is pretty much makes complete sense. That's exactly what I thought it was going to weigh. However, it does come in three other colors. So let's check those out. Next up is Jade. Same exact deck, same exact graphic, just a different color. This is really, really nice. I really like that it's like a mint. It's just a very, very unique color that you don't see a lot in scootering and North absolutely kills it with these unique colors. All right, next up is this matte yellow and this yellow pops. Very, very bright color deck. This is perfect for moms that are worried. You're not gonna be able to see, you know, your kid at night scootering if he's crossing a street and it's dark. You put this deck on their scooter, they're gonna see him. All right, last but not least, this is the matte black colorway. Of course, they had to create a more toned down version of the deck just because every other color is so loud. Majority of the riders do wanna ride just a normal matte black deck or a raw deck. It has the white graphic here on the bottom and uh, definitely is going to give you that toned down, murdered out look if that's what you're going for. Their black is really, really, really deep. It's like a very dark black. It's, it's really, really cool and it's matte. I, I really do like the way they uh, they paint their decks. So that is gonna be it for the North Horizon deck and the North Derek Mar deck. If you guys are interested in either of those two decks, make sure to click the link down below if you guys wanna look around and buy one for yourself. And uh, let's see what's next. Alrighty, so next up from North's new lineup is going to be their all new fork. So this is the North Nada fork. Like I said, this is the newest fork in North's lineup, along with the Amber fork and the 30 fork. The difference between this guy compared to all the other ones is this fork has zero offset. And if you guys watched Andy Peterson's most recent custom build, he lets you guys know that this fork has zero offset. I think like 30 times you have that video. So if you haven't checked that one out, make sure you guys go see it because it was definitely a funny video. If you guys don't know what zero offset is, that pretty much means that the fork doesn't go down and then slightly angle to one side or the other like start to curve out to the front and I do really really like the shape of it it's very similar to the 30 fork and the amber fork it's very smooth it's very simple this is an SCS or HIC compatible fork so on the top here you do have a M8 compression bolt with an M8 compression washer so if you're running HIC or SCS you're good to go. You do have an eight mil axle here. You have a nut on one side, an Allen wrench on the other. The one thing that I did notice with this fork that threw me off a little bit is there isn't anywhere for the nut to be held. The nut can kind of just spin in here and you can't fit a socket wrench or anything in the groove of the fork. So you're pretty much forced to only being able to grip onto about half of the nut. Take your time tightening it, but either way, it's not that big of a deal. This fork is compatible with up to 125 millimeter wheels and it can only fit 24 millimeter wheels. This fork comes in at 12 ounces with hardware, so less than a pound for the whole fork with your axle and your hardware, which is pretty incredible. And just holding it here in my hands, I can pretty much tell you, this, thing, this thing's light. Those are the general specs of the Nada fork. I'm holding the silver colorway. It does actually come in three other colors. Here we have Jade. So this matches the deck perfectly, like I showed you guys. If you're picking up one of the Jade decks, I highly recommend you guys pick up one of the Jade forks just to go with it perfectly. One thing that I really wanna give credit to North for is I really like how they match the compression washer to the fork. It's just one of those little, little touches that in the grand scheme of things, a lot of companies would probably think isn't a big deal. Just throw a black one on here, nobody will care. But the attention to detail is there. I think having the jade washer with the jade fork, silver washer, the silver fork, and spoiler alert, yellow washer with the yellow fork. That little attention to detail really stands out to me, so props to you guys. But here's the jade, and finally here's the yellow, like I just sneaked you guys a little peek of. Yellow obviously matches the deck as well, and it's a really, really nice glossy yellow. And you guys can see it says Nada here, zero offset. Just so if you guys are curious what the offset is on this fork, they're gonna go ahead and remind you, just like Andy did million times. This fork does come in black. I actually don't have it with me today because we are sold out of it 
but you guys can pretty much envision it. It's just a matte black version of this fork. It'll match all the other black North parts perfectly as well. That is it for the Nata fork. Let's move on to the new colors of the other forks. All right, so the North 30 fork is not new. It's been out for at least a year now, but they did update the fork with some new colors. So you have the yellow to match all the new parts as well in the 30 fork. I'm not gonna go through all the specs of this because I already have gone through all those in a previous video, but if you wanna learn more, the link for this fork will be down below. And of course, the 30 fork also comes in jade. Look at that, this is a good looking fork, right? Boom. So, new colors in the 30 fork, and of course, they had to update the amber fork as well. This is a very similar fork to the Nada, except this one does have offset, same wheel compatibility, same specs, everything like that, but now comes in yellow and also Jade. I think you guys get the point. Yellow and Jade and all the new forks. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for all the new North product in this video. If uh, you guys are interested in any of it, like I said, all that's down below, but let's move into some new product from Prime. If you guys did not watch the last episode of What's New in Scootering, I went over the Raw X Prime bar. It was Raw Scooters X Prime. It was their first collaboration bar to introduce Prime to the scooter industry, and it's a very similar shape to a Rad Crow bar or a Tilt Century bar. But since then, more parts have come in from Prime, and I'm really excited to take a look at those today. First up is going to be the Prime Vice Double Clamp. So the Vice Double Clamp is a super sleek, minimalist double clamp. This guy comes with M8 clamp bolts. They have a six mil head, they're the thicker diameter, just like a tilt clamp or something like that. So you guys are not gonna be stripping these guys out. It does fit both standard and oversized bars. However, it does not come with a shim. So if you guys wanna ride standard size bars with this, you guys will have to pick up a shim separately. You guys can see on the front of this, it does have this really, really nice red Prime logo. This is pretty much their logo on all the products that they have out right now and it's definitely iconic. It stands out and there's no mistaking this for any other brand. This guy is made out of aluminum, of course, and since it is a double clamp and it's not too big, it's very light. You're looking at 85 grams, which is like 0.19 of a pound. It's like nothing. It doesn't weigh anything less than a quarter of a pound. And if you guys are riding a black and red setup or even just an all black setup, this is definitely the clamp for you. So that was it for the double clamp. Let's go ahead and look at the Prime Whirlwind headset. There's not too much to say about this headset since it's just a headset. This is a integrated headset made by Prime. It features their black dust cover with the red P logos all over it, just like I mentioned earlier. Pretty much the logo they have on all their parts right now. This guy is super sleek, and like I said, it's gonna go with any black and red setup that you guys are riding today. Included, obviously you're gonna get your dust cover. You are gonna get a compression ring for SCS slash HIC forks. You're gonna get both bearings, and this comes with the crown raise, just in case you're riding a fork that doesn't have one pre-installed or integrated to the fork. 99% of the forks that you guys see today have these integrated, so you most likely don't need it. And if you're unsure, call us up, let us know what fork you have, and we'll help you out. And next up, and the last product from Prime that we have today is going to be the Vortex fork. So I know what you guys are thinking. First glance, it's a big axle, right? It is not your normal axle that you ride on your scooter. And you're correct. Since a ton of these products were made and designed by the Ethic team. This guy comes 12 standard ready, just like a lot of other parts that are manufactured and created by Ethic as well. Not saying these are created by Ethic, but they were designed and most likely made in the same factory since all the Prime riders and Prime as a brand is a European brand. I know they all have close ties to the Ethic guys and Kevin DeMay and stuff like that. So I would not be surprised if Kevin DeMay had his fingers and thoughts when it came to the design of all these parts. Ethic has made some of the best parts. The Vortex fork is no different. This fork comes 12 standard ready but don't worry, you do get a little baggie right here that comes with the 12 standard conversion spacers, just like a Nemesis fork by Ethic. So you guys just clip these in and you'll be able to ride 24 millimeter wheels. However, it does not come with an axle. So you will have to buy a normal eight millimeter axle. Nothing too crazy. You guys can pick those up on our website for like $1.50 when you guys order this fork. Moving on up to the fork, of course, you can see the red P logo right here, just like all the other parts. It does have this really, really sleek design. The, uh, the cutouts in the fork and everything just look really, really good. It's a very, very good looking fork in my opinion. I can't loosen this by hand, but this is an M8 compression bolt and washer. So those are included as well. This does have an integrated crown raise, so you guys are not gonna need a crown raise as well. And since this is 12 standard compatible, that means you can ride up to 125 millimeter wheels and obviously up to 30 millimeter wide wheels. So very, very compatible and very, very good looking. This fork with all the other prime parts, with smack. And I do not actually have the weight of this fork in front of me, so we're gonna go ahead and weigh it. And we are weighing it with a 12 standard axle and a compression bolt and washer installed, so just take that into account. 
12.7 ounces, which means that this beefy 12 standard fork that looks great weighs less than a pound with the 12 standard axle and compression stuff. That's crazy. And it's only like $80. A lot of 12 standard forks tend to be a little bit more expensive. No, not this guy, 80 bucks. Alrighty, so that's all I have for the prime products in this video. Let's see what's up next. Yoink, Scoob. Alrighty, so before we do move into the bulk of the other stuff from Native and AO, I do wanna skim through a couple new things that we have here at the vault. First one up, you guys may have already seen, but I do wanna touch up on it. And this is going to be our scooter chain necklace. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but this is a scooter pendant on a ball chain. Let's people know that you're a scooter rider and you can represent scooters pretty much anywhere you go. This is not real silver, just so you guys know. This guy is not very bougie. It's not really, it's not real ice. You know, you're not gonna be freezing with this guy on, but it definitely is a nice little accent to, to rock when you're at the skate park or going out. Just to let people know that you're a proud scooter rider. Super inexpensive, very reasonably priced, and these guys are only like $10. I have one, all my friends have one. If you wanna get a girlfriend, this is, this is how you do it. This right here. Yo, just pull this guy out from under your shirt. <laughs> Damn. And if that's not enough, maybe the scooter chain is a little cheesy. Look at this right here. Vault logo pendant on the silver plated chain. 20 inches long, the pendant's like an inch big. This guy's definitely a lot nicer than the, uh, the scooter logo in the ball chain, but they're the same price because we know all of you guys don't have a ton of money. A lot of you guys are just scooter kids trying to make ends meet and we wanna make affordable products for you guys. So this and the scooter logo are like 10 bucks. 10 bucks, look at that. See that? Dedicated. I have like nine girlfriends right now because of this chain. Nine, and they know about each other and they're cool with it because of the chain. Buy one, find out for yourself, bro. $10, rep the vault, silver plated chain, 20 inches long. These are flying off the shelves, bro. We can't keep up with demand. Link down below. Next up is gonna be the new colorway of our vault jersey. We love making these jerseys. We know a lot of you guys are outdoor kids, especially if you're scootering. So these jerseys are nice. They let you breathe a little bit better and they let you rep the vault. I've gone over the design a billion times because we've had like six different colors in this one. But this jersey right here is the baby blue on black. On the back, you know, it says TVPS number 12, representing the year we opened our doors, 2012 TVPS for the Vault Pro Scooters and yeah, not much more to say. If you guys are looking for something to ride, thrash when you guys are out scooting, this is this is definitely the one for you. These guys are like 25 bucks, super comfy, and you can't really go wrong with a soccer jersey. These guys are available in both youth and adult sizes, so if you're a little guy, we got you covered. And the final product that we have today that I'm super excited about because we finalized these designs like a year ago, but COVID pushed everything back, so it's all right. And those are our new socks. High key, I don't know if I wanna open these because I'm not gonna be able to put them back. I got you covered though. Bam, baby. TVPS on the sock. You see that? Let me take the shoe off. You see that? Vault logo. Don't mind this, my shoes are gross. It's got a TV logo right there. It says TVPS. What more do you need? Vault Pro Scooter Socks. If you guys weren't a fan of our scooter socks with the scooter logos all over, these are for you. These are actually athletic socks. You guys can see it has the elastic part here where it goes over your foot just to keep the sock nice and snug on your foot so it's not gonna be moving around. Whatever it may be that you're doing, these socks are gonna be nice and snug on your feet. They're made from 65% cotton, 20% elastic, 11% spandex, and 4% nylon. Machine wash cold, do not iron, tumble dry low, and do not bleach them. These come in two sizes, adult, and youth, we got you covered. We know that a lot of you guys are younger and you got small feet like me. I have to wear the youth ones because I have children's sized feet. I don't actually, but I get made fun of a lot. I swear I don't wear the youth ones. I don't wear the youth ones. Either way, available in adult and youth. Summer's coming, which means you're gonna be pulling the shorts out and cutting your pants because it's gonna be a million degrees outside. You're gonna need some fire socks to match the fit. And these are the ones you want. Go buy them right now. Let's do the trampoline scoots. So you guys heard me right. This is a trampoline scooter. We originally did sell these trampoline scooters. These are made by a brand called Indo. This is the actual pro version of the trampoline scooter. They did have a previous version that was just the Indo trampoline scooter. It came in two different sizes. And to be completely honest with you guys, I rode one. Really, really nice scooters. I had a hard time keeping the scooter under me just because it was made out of foam. It was still a ton of fun, an absolute blast, but I personally felt like it was isn't very comparable to an actual scooter because the goal for these is if you are trying to learn some new tricks, you can take it to the trampoline, get the motion dialed in on this guy, and then take it to the skate park and 
hopefully achieve the trick. But I will say with this pro model, we have a full video coming out on it in the next couple weeks where we go a little bit more in depth with this guy and actually try to do some tricks on it. And just from my experience filming that, this new pro model is 10 times better than the original one. The foam deck here is a lot more rigid. It's a lot stronger. There's more weight to the scooter, so you actually feel like you're throwing something around, but you're obviously not gonna get hurt because if this guy hits you in the head, it's practically a flip-flop. Like, I'm not joking. It's like, it's a flip-flop. Maybe asking yourself, what makes a scooter a trampoline scooter? Because in my day, we would just take a normal scooter, take off the wheels, duct tape around the deck 30 times, and there you go, you had a trampoline scooter. And technically, yeah, that is, what you could do, but you still have the risk of tearing into the trampoline, which is a huge hazard. Plus, if you hit yourself with that, it's probably still gonna hurt. So, Indo solved that issue and created these guys. It's practically a scooter, except it doesn't have wheels. As for a deck, you have this big foam pad here. I don't know exactly what kind of foam this is made out of, but it's very, very strong. It does still bend over time and will probably loosen up the more you ride it. As far as doing tail whips and stuff like that, you definitely have something here to catch and to land on. Another big improvement from this guy to the original Indo trampoline scooter is it actually has a headset. Inside here, there's two ball bearings, just like a normal integrated headset that allow the bar to spin like so, which means you can do bar spins, you can do tail whips, just like you could on the original one, but it'll be a lot smoother, a lot more reliable, and you can actually take this guy out, tighten it up, there's a big bolt underneath here. So if you want it to spin a little bit, tighter you can do so if you want to loosen it so it just spins freely you guys can do that as well but it is a lot of fun if you guys have a trampoline this guy is a blast and you can also take this guy on the ground if you guys are in grass or you lay down like a yoga mat or something I saw john ray is doing it with like the beautiful new york skyline you can definitely see how learning tricks on the flat ground on this guy can help you learn tricks at the skate park on your actual scooter which is really cool spec wise for this indo pro trampoline scooter uh, you're looking at a seven inch wide foam deck it comes 24.5 inches long you do only have about 20 inches of actual foot space so there's a lot of space here for your feet to land on the bar is this piece of aluminum going all the way up here this guy is 29 inches tall by 21 inches wide it does actually come with grips not just like some pieces of foam these are actual like grips you could get on a bike or a scooter so you guys can throw on whatever grips you want if you want to put some native grips or some odi grips on those take them off throw them on you can even put aluminum bar ends because these guys just come with some plastic ones the whole scooter itself only weighs five pounds it's heavier than the previous model because it was so light it felt like it was just gonna fly away now being about five pounds it's not just gonna glide away you can actually land tricks and throw tricks, which is really nice. As far as specs, that's pretty much it. I think the scooter relatively explains itself. It's trampoline scooter, flat ground scooter, a lot of fun. Like I said, if you guys have a trampoline and you guys have friends, definitely buy one of these and play your friend's scoot on the trampoline. You're gonna absolutely love it. You guys may be asking yourself, what if my three-year-old brother wants one? Or what if you're trying to teach a toddler how to balance and jump and stuff like that and he's really just not getting it on wheels and whatnot so you're looking for something a little bit more similar to this and it's got you covered look at this look at this thing dude i can't every time i look at it i just can't help but laugh because it's so adorable like look at it compared to the normal one you versus the guy she told you not to worry about but either way this guy's made for you know toddlers small children trying to figure out their balance and whatnot so if you get a kid on a trampoline and he can jump he could probably hop on this guy and try to throw some bar spins or some tail whips and figure out his coordination and whatnot and i back it honestly i wish i had this when i was a kid because we just jumped on trampolines and now you can ride scooters on the trampoline well either way this is the indo bug trampoline scooter it has a super cute little rubber cover here so if a toddler or a small child is on this and for some other reason they hit their head on the bar this is rubber so you're not going to be hurting too too hard and it does have these really really nice rubber grips here so they can actually grip onto something spec wise compared to the indo pro trampoline scooter the deck is 5.6 inches wide by 16 inches long you only have like 14 or 13 inches of foot space on this guy but you're a toddler so you probably don't really care the bar is 15.7 inches wide by 15 inches tall so it's actually wider than it is tall i do think the wider grip is going to give kids learning a little bit more control so I back it, but let's weigh it. One pound, 13 ounces. So it's a little less than two pounds, which is absolutely adorable. Like you guys can buy the Indo Pro trampoline scooter, learn all your crazy buttercup bright flip combos. Your mom and dad can hook your little brother, a little sister up with this guy so they can learn all those tricks right under you. You'll have a future world champ in the works because he was learning how to tail when he was like two. It's pretty cool.
I do. This thing is so cute. I gotta get away. That is it for the Indo trampoline scooters. If you guys are interested, link down below. Next up, we have a new wheel from Root Industries. This is like relatively new, and it's not necessarily new because the Lotus wheels have already come out. Originally, they were a 30 wide urethane wheel with a 24 millimeter core. They came in 110 and 120, but they only came in black and raw. They were cool. Root being Root came out with a new version that is 24 millimeters wide by 110 millimeter, pre-installed Root Industries ABEC 11 bearings, Lotus core, very similar to the Honey core, so it's gonna be a very light wheel, 7.4 ounces per wheel, which means you're looking at less than a pound for the two, very light, sold in pairs. So when you guys add these to your cart, you get two wheels, just like all the other root wheels. So 65 bucks, less than a pound, both wheels, ABEC 11 bearings, and there's a ton of colors. So let's dive into those. First up in my hand, this is the Isotope, which is like their light blue, Isotope on copper. Next, Isotope on pink, nice. Moving on, we got pink on pink, that's tight. Next up, you got your traditional black on black. You can never go wrong with black on black. And the wheel still looks sick. This is black on Blu-ray. If you guys are a fan of Root Industries, you know what Blu-ray is. It's like their iridescent neochrome or rocket fuel like colorway, except instead of having purples and golds, it's pretty much all just blue with a little bit of gold. We got yellow on yellow or yellow on gold, I guess. A phenomenal looking wheel. And we also have orange on orange. It does come in a couple other colors that I don't actually have right now. Those colors are black on rocket fuel, which is black and neochrome. A teal on teal or a blue on blue. It's definitely more of a teal. It's pretty much this urethane on the same color core. And finally, a green on green. You get the point. Root goes hard with your colors. That's it for the Root Industries Lotus wheels. 65 bucks a pair, link down below. So that is it for the Root Industries wheels. But we do have some cool stuff from Eagle. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Eagle Supply EXA hand grips. As you guys can see, this is a two-tone or a two-color blend grip made by Eagle. So you guys can see this Eagle logo here on the bar end. This grip does remind me of an Addict grip, and I know they do a lot of collaborations together and stuff, so these are probably made in the same factory, but very, very comfortable. This grip is seven inches long. It's a bit of a thicker grip. If you guys are a fan of like Ethic grips and Addict grips or the Native Emblem grips, these are very, very similar. And this two color blend is, is pretty sweet. You guys can see the pattern going through here. So there's like a line there and a line there. It has these little rivets here on the end, just so uh, if you are riding and your hand starts to slip, you'll be easily alerted that uh, your hand is approaching the end of the grip. And just some plastic bar ends here that will uh, definitely get the job done. This is black on white. We also have black on pink and the bar end obviously will match the grip as well. This pink is really cool. It reminds me of uh, like a pastel pink. It's not a very vibrant, overly saturated pink. We also have black on orange. There's your orange bar end to match. This is black on gum. A lot of you guys do like the color gum. Eagle obviously knew that, so here we have the black on gum colorway. We could not have an eagle part without it being black and yellow. Super nice. This would look really good with the yellow north deck. And finally, black and purple. A lot of you guys love purple as well, so I know you guys are gonna love these. This is a nice purple, it's very deep. So that's all I have from Eagle. Like I said, they've been teasing a bunch of new stuff on Instagram. I know they have some new wheels coming and stuff like that. So I guess we'll check back in with Eagle when all those things come. Alrighty, so like I said, we do have some new stuff from Trinity and today we have a new fork. Say hello to the Trinity Mastodon fork. If you guys watched one of the last custom builds, I believe Sean did it. He actually used this fork and it looked pretty great on the custom that he did. Just like the Prime Vortex fork, you might be asking yourself, why is the axle so big? And that's because this is a 12 standard compatible fork straight out of the box. Overall specs, this is SCS and HIC. It does come with an M6 compression bolt and washer right here. This fork is 12 standard compatible, so you can fit up to 125 millimeter wheels and up to 30 millimeter wheels. And those can either be 12 standard wheels or they can be eight mil wheels. And that is because unlike the Prime fork, the Trinity fork does come with all the conversion spacers you're going to need to ride 24 millimeter wide wheels, 30 millimeter wide wheels that are 8 mil, and you also get an axle. So this fork is compatible with five different wheel sizes. This is pretty much just like the native Versa fork where it's compatible with every single wheel size and all you need is the axle and the spacers that come with it. It is a, a bit of a beefier fork, so it's very wide. It looks very, very strong. You can rely on this fork to have your back when you guys are trying some pretty crazy stuff, which is awesome. Trinity is a rider and company so they have your back you know made by riders designed by riders you gotta love it it does have this uh this logo here on the tube of the fork i'd imagine this resembles a mastodon i used to listen to this band when i was a kid called mastodon 
fire. And you guys may be asking yourself, that fork probably has to weigh a million pounds. It doesn't, so let's weigh it. All right, Mastodon fork weighs 14.8 ounces, so less than a pound for this beefy, strong, bad boy of a fork. Shout out to Trinity, this fork is sick. This is the matte black colorway. It does also come in a raw, same exact fork, same exact specs, but just in the polished raw colorway. That's it for the Mastodon fork. Let's see what else Trinity has. So the Trinity SCS has been out for a little over a year as well. And I'm not gonna dive into all the specs of this guy either just because I already have, but they did just introduce the red colorway. This guy is super sick. It's a very, very nice anodized red colorway. And I stand by it when I say this SCS is one of the most unique looking ones out there. I absolutely love all these cutouts on the side. You guys can see that the clamp is completely visible all the way through with these cutouts, which is super, super sick. I really do like the way that guy looks. Shout out to Trinity, the red SCS is sick, and I'm sure we will see some other colors here in the near future. Uh, the last product that we're gonna be taking a look at from Trinity is gonna be their headset. So this is the Trinity headset. So this is Trinity's integrated headset. I honestly, Really do like the way it looks. Most people that are releasing headsets tend to put the graphic on the top of the dust cover. Trinity went with a different style dust cover where it's a lot more flat and the graphic is actually going around the side of the dust cover. So you have this really, really cool pattern where it's like upside down wise and right in the middle. It does say Trinity, kind of blends in. You almost wouldn't even see it unless you looked. I really do like the way that comes off. This anodized red does match their SCS perfectly as well. Like I mentioned earlier, it's the little things that matter, the attention to detail that some brands put in, like North putting the same color compression cap to match the fork. Trinity and their headsets, not only is the dust cover anodized red, but the crown rays, which most likely isn't even gonna be used, is still anodized red. And the compression ring is anodized red. So shout out to Trinity. The attention to detail is awesome. This is the red headset. We also have blue. It's a really nice blue, by the way. The so same exact headset as the red one, just in blue. Same logo etched around the dust cover. Obviously, you, you do have a blue compression ring and you have a blue crown rays, which is so sick. Here we have Neochrome, but it is Neochrome. You guys love this color and Trinity has it here for you. And last but not least is the silver headset. It's this really nice matte anodized silver. It's not like a flashy, glossy silver. Super sick, but you guys obviously get the point. Silver headset, blue headset, red headset, neochrome headset. And of course it does come in a black as well. I just don't have that here today. If you guys are looking to get a new one, I recommend you guys pick up one of these Trinity headsets because pretty sweet. If you guys are a fan of watching these What's New and Scootering episodes, obviously you know we go over to some of our recent YouTube videos, check out some of the comments, we pick out some mean ones, some nice ones, and some really cool ones, and we read them. So if you guys want a chance to be featured in one of these episodes, make sure you like this video and drop a comment, and you never know, you just might be in the next episode of What's New and Scootering. So without further ado, let's head on over to our YouTube channel. And, and check out some of these comments. You guys are mean. I just want that to be known right now. You guys, are, you guys are really mean. Let's head to Tyler's day in the life. I think that's gonna have some really good comments on it. First comment comes from Monk or Monkey. It's like M0NKE. Yo, when are we gonna get the OG Yak Wheels doing a hill bomb video? I did mention that in Tyler's video that if you guys wanted to see it, we thought about it. Taking some of the OG Yak Wheels that are actually urethane on plastic and they have like a super soft urethane rating and bombing a hill on a hot summer day and just seeing if they last. And apparently this dude wants it. If you guys wanna see it, let us know, but I think we are gonna do it. Next comment comes from Kawiti. Let's be honest, Austin Spencer has some terrific taste in clothing. I wanna see him do a closet tour or something along the lines of clothing. I read this comment wrong the first time I read it. I thought he was insulting my choice in clothing. Hey, I appreciate it and I really do appreciate the compliment on my choice of clothing. I just kind of wear what I think looks cool. If I do decide to film another day in the life, which I do think I will, just because the last one that I did honestly wasn't that great to me and a lot has changed in the last couple of years. So if I do do another day in the life, I'll let you guys see what my closet looks like and I'll show you guys some of the cool pieces of clothing that I've acquired over the years. Moving on, the next comment comes from Noah. Fant and his comment says, I could watch a vlog channel with Austin and Tyler. No cap, bro. I think if me and Tyler had a channel, it would be hilarious. If, but like only if like we lived with each other so we could just constantly mess with each other. But me and Tyler get along really, really well. And I absolutely love hanging out with the dude. So maybe you guys will see some more stuff from me and Tyler in the future. Let us know. Maybe I'll go spend like a week in Vegas and I'll vlog every day with me and Tyler and we'll just scooter and eat canes. Whatever you guys would wanna see or down to do, so let us know. We are moving over to my latest custom where I use the purple 
North Deck that I just showed you. And let's read some comments on this one. This comment comes from Tim. His comment says, best custom build so far. Honestly, I agree. That custom looked so good. The raspberry bars and the purple deck, the gold wheels. I fell in absolute love with that custom build. I do think it's one of the best looking colors for a custom build that have come out in a very long time and I'm happy to see that some of you guys agree. This next comment comes from Toko. His comment says, bro, this one hit different. Thank you, Austin. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't think anybody expected that custom to come out that fire. I'm hyped. So on the last episode of What's New in Scootering, I covered that Yak Wheels are back and my boy, OG Scooter Rider, Josh Toy, the man that heel flipped the scooter. But Josh Toy said, Austin, Yak Wheels doing clear urethane before anyone. And then he says, Razor Scooters, dot, dot, dot. Razor was making clear urethane. I was referring to like one of the first companies that was actually making like professional scooter wheels or trick scooter wheels that had clear urethane. I'm well aware Razor made clear urethane and you were definitely right, Josh, but I should have made myself more clear. Next comment comes from Real Ez. I think that's how you pronounce it. He says, the way Austin says bubbles makes me laugh, LMAO. Do I say bubbles weird? Bubbles, bubbles. I don't know if that's weird. I'm insecure now. I can't say bubbles anymore, bro. We gotta move on. Finding one more comment and then we are ending this. My boy Jonathan here says, yo, please do a torture test on the yak wheels. At this point, I see three more comments here asking for us to, uh, to torture test the yak wheels. Bama Hill do something with them. So I guess we're gonna have to do it. Stay tuned because that video is coming and shout out to Jonathan for dropping that comment because you were the deciding factor. You convinced me, we have to do it. We gotta find a hill and we gotta get some people that are manly enough to bomb a hill on a scooter where the wheels might melt or break, so stay tuned. Either way, that is it for the comments in this video. Like I said, if you want the chance to be featured in one of these videos, make sure you guys are dropping comments on every single one of our videos and you never know, you might just make it. Alrighty, so before I move on, I do wanna take a look at two new colorways of the TSI satellite deck. The first one is gonna be a new textured blue colorway. It's uh, a little bit of a darker blue, but it's actually textured, so you can actually feel some kind of texture on the paint itself, but it's a really, really cool deck. It does feature the white dropouts to contrast with the blue really, really nicely. The TSI satellite deck is pretty much TSI's highest quality deck that they make right now. It's their flagship deck, the one that they're producing the most of. This deck is made in the USA, so you guys can see that stamp right here. One of the only, if not the only USA made decks as of right now, which is really, really cool. Uh, I know there's a huge market for USA made parts. So if you guys are riding affinity bars because you're hyped that they're handmade out here, you guys can pick up one of these TSI decks and they are also made out here. We did a really, really, really cool video where we looked into the story of TSI and we actually flew a couple filmers up there to film the process of them making these decks, talk about their story. It's a very emotional video, but it's really cool just to see how much TSI and Tom and all them just love this sport and want to see it go further. If you've not seen that video, click that card is a very, very good video. This color is super cool. If you wanna learn more about this deck, go ahead, click the link down below, check out all the specs. And there's also a textured forest green, if you will. This one is also super, super cool. This guy is a textured green. It features the gold dropouts instead of the white. I think it complements the green very nicely as well. Same overall specs, of course, made in the USA as well. Alrighty, that is it for the TSI decks. Next up is gonna be the native refined advent decks. It is a new day. We got, we had to stop recording. There was just so much stuff and there was so much noise outside. We ended up just calling it quiz. But... 